Honestly, the progress in AI is moving at such a rapid pace that keeping up with it all is quite a challenge. However, in this video, I'm going to share with you what I believe are the most significant advancements from the past week. These include YouTube's new AI model, Allowed, Google's endless AI selfie generator, and DeepMind's RoboCat. We're also going to discuss LinkedIn's fake image detector, as well as the AI image creators from Stable Diffusion and Adobe. And to top it off, we'll be looking at Vimeo's AI editing tool designed for beginners and Energy Saver's intelligent strategy for reducing power bills. So let's jump right in. Okay, YouTube is testing a new AI tool called Allowed that dubs videos into different languages, making it easier for creators to reach a global audience. Developed by Google's Area 120, Allowed transcribes, translates, and dubs a video, which creators can review and customize. The tool was revealed at VidCon and is currently being tested with hundreds of creators, and it supports English, Spanish, and Portuguese, with plans for more languages. YouTube aims to make the dubbed audio sound like the creator's original voice in the future, improving expression and lip sync. This free service removes the difficulty and expense of manual dubbing, enhancing content accessibility for global viewers. It's an exciting development with potential to transform YouTube by allowing high-quality dubbed viewing in any language. Okay, now, the next topic I want to talk about is Google's new AI project that lets you generate endless selfies. So, Google is developing an AI software that can generate an infinite number of selfies from users' real photos, eliminating the need to continuously pose and capture photos in real life. The technology was announced at the Cannes Lions International Festival of Creativity by Robert Wong, Vice President of Google Creative Lab, Google's Senior Vice President of Research, Technology, and Society, James Manyika, likened the impact of this generative AI to the invention of the camera, suggesting it could similarly revolutionize the creative community. However, there are concerns about the potential societal implications of such a technology. If released, the AI could significantly impact social media influencers and their followers' perception of reality. Critics note that the mental health of social media users, particularly young people, is already a concern, and that creating an environment where users can fabricate any situation for publication could exacerbate these issues. The next topic is DeepMind's new AI model that can operate multiple robots at the same time. You see, DeepMind, Google's AI branch, has crafted this new model capable of managing several robots concurrently, guiding them through intricate tasks. RoboCat is versatile, adapting to different robot shapes and sizes from quadrupeds to bipeds to wheeled robots. It guides these robots through a variety of tasks like walking, running, or even complex tasks such as climbing or pushing. What makes it really stand out is its use of reinforcement learning, a trial-and-error-based learning style where actions are shaped by rewards or penalties. This allows RoboCat to learn from simulated environments, mitigating the risk of damaging real robots. It can coordinate multiple robots, not just individually, but also as a group, to achieve shared goals or adapt to shifting circumstances. To be honest, it's quite impressive how RoboCat can learn to control these robots from the ground up, and guide them to work together. But the question is, should we feel excited or frightened by the idea of an AI model directing robot groups? So what's your viewpoint on this? I'd love to hear your thoughts. All right, the next topic I wanna to talk about is LinkedIn's new AI image detector that can detect fake profile pictures with 99% success rate. So LinkedIn has launched a new AI image detector that can identify fake profile pictures and flag them for review. Unveiled in a recent blog post, LiDAR uses deep learning to sift through profile photos, gauging their authenticity. It compares these images with others available online, such as stock photos or celebrity images. It can also spot telltale signs of editing, like inconsistent lighting or backgrounds. The true benefit of LiDAR is its capacity to flag suspicious profiles for human review. In doing so, LinkedIn aims to deter malicious activities like scams or impersonation, keeping its platform trustworthy and user-friendly. I believe LiDAR exemplifies how AI can be harnessed to protect online communities from deceptive content. It's a commendable move by LinkedIn, and I look forward to seeing the impact it will have. Okay, the next is Stable Diffusion's new AI model that can generate high-quality images faster than ever before. It's called SDXL and this tool uses diffusion models to craft vivid and diverse images at breakneck speed. 
You see, diffusion models work by initially adding noise to an image until it's unrecognizable, and then the AI gradually removes this noise to either restore the original image or create a new one. SDXL has seen substantial improvements from its predecessor. It's got double the parameters, quicker generation speed due to fewer diffusion steps, and optimized hyperparameters, which essentially boost its performance and stability. This model can rapidly churn out high-quality images that are lifelike and varied, even from simple text prompts like a cat wearing a hat or a sunset over the ocean. It stands as a testament to how diffusion models can generate superior images, faster than other generative models such as JANs or VAEs. In the realm of AI startups, SDXL is up against Midjourney, another enterprise using diffusion models for image generation. Midjourney, founded by ex-OpenAI researchers, claims its model is more creative and faster. However, Stable Diffusion counters this, saying SDXL has superior image quality, resolution, speed, and cost effectiveness. Then, we have Vimeo's new AI-powered editing tools that are designed for beginners. So, Vimeo, the video hosting platform that caters to businesses and content creators, has launched new AI-powered editing tools that are aimed at lowering the barrier to entry for novice video creators. These AI-powered editing tools are called One-Take Video Creation, and they were announced by Vimeo in a blog post this week. One-Take Video Creation is a set of AI-powered editing features that help users create videos in one take, without any prior editing skills or experience. They have three key features. AI Script Generation provides a script based on the user's brief description of their message, video length, and tone. Built-in teleprompter allows users to deliver scripts using their webcam with adjustable font size and pacing. Text-based video editing enables quick editing by removing unwanted parts from the auto-generated transcript. Essentially, one-take video creation offers an easy and fast way to make videos for different purposes, regardless of one's experience or budget. Okay, this one is exciting. A new AI tool called Energy Saver. It's a creation of researchers from Stanford University and Google that advises homeowners on which appliances are draining their wallets and how to save energy. You see, Energy Saver smartly uses your home's smart meter data, applying machine learning to determine which appliances are the big energy guzzlers and how much they're costing you. It even offers personalized tips like when's the best time to run your dishwasher or how to adjust your thermostat, essentially guiding you on energy efficient practices. And here's the real kicker. Energy Saver was trialed on over 10,000 households in California, and it managed to lower their electricity consumption by around 9%. That's about a $120 saving each year, plus a carbon emissions cut of 1.3 tons. Honestly, I think it's a remarkable example of how AI can aid us in becoming more conscious of our energy usage, save money, and reduce our environmental footprint. So would you give Energy Saver a shot to optimize your energy consumption? Okay, the last thing I wanted to touch upon today is Adobe's new AI tool, Project Gingerbread, that they showcased at Config 2023. It's an image generator that uses artificial intelligence to create beautiful and diverse images from nothing or based on your text inputs. It works using generative adversarial networks, AI systems that generate images and then test them for realism. The aim is to create better and better images that are essentially indistinguishable from real photos. Honestly, the tool is pretty versatile. You can create images from scratch by selecting parameters such as category, style, color, and mood. All right, that concludes this week's AI news. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to stay updated on all my future uploads. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next one.